Hey, it's Eric from Eric's Home Network, and right now I have a question from Hans, or Hannes. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. I am not Filipino, but my wife is Filipina, um, but she's not here right now to ask her how to pronounce your name, so I apologize if I said your name wrong. Hannes. So Hannes asks... Hey Eric, can you please let us know how to use the USB ports and the FTP thingy? Thank you. Sure, I'll show you guys how you can use that. Now I'm assuming you have the same router I do, which is the TP-Link Archer C7, so I'll show you how to use that on the router that I have. It might be slightly different on your router, but this is how I do it. So just pretend I just ran over there and I plugged in a USB drive on my router because there's one already there. I know it's there because I plugged it in yesterday. So just run over there, plug it into the USB port. I have a little USB stick that I plugged in there. And then you want to go up to your router interface, tp-link wifi.net, and you want to log in. And I still have the default username and password because I'm a bad administrator. All right, so once you get in here, you want to go to the left side and go to USB settings. And in this first page, once you, like for me, once I plugged in my USB stick in the router, I just went back to this, uh, ran back to my computer, and I opened this up, and it already showed this uh, USB stick in here. Um, if it doesn't show up for you, just go ahead and hit scan. You can scan it, and then it should pick it up that it's plugged into the USB port. And then from there, you want to make sure that the active button is checked. You can either make it active or not. If you hit scan and it doesn't show up here still, or if you just, no matter what you do, you can't get it to show up, you might want to check your device to make sure it's actually working properly. Um, yeah, that's, I don't really have much to say about that. You could, you could have a faulty USB uh, port on your router. Um, try the other one. Try a different port or try a different device to see if it pops up in here. Once it shows up in here, you can go over here to folder sharing. And then if you want, you can create a sharing account. You can either choose this to use use login account, or you can choose this other option for use the following account where you can just set your own password. So you can choose that. You can set your own username to whatever you want and create a password and save it. I'm just going to use the login account, which means that it's going to use my admin admin uh, admin password or admin username and admin password like I used to log into the router when I logged into this website here, or this web page. And then, so once you choose one of these options, you can go down here, and you have a few options to select from. This is where the FTP comes into play. Um, there's three different options here. You can either, there's network neighborhood, FTP, or remote FTP. So network neighborhood basically allows you to access your uh, drive that's plugged into your router from within Windows, like within network neighborhood. So for example, if I take this IP and I copy it and I go to start and I, I can paste that right here, the backslash backslash and then the IP hit enter it's going to open up the share drive right here uh, well it's not really a share it is a share drive but and then you can go to access your files from within here I just have I'm not really sure what I have on this USB stick um, some kind of this is probably when I was trying to some kind of programming thing or something I'm not exactly sure what's on this USB stick but that's how you access it from network neighborhood and that's this right here enables or disables that feature. Now if you want to access it via FTP, um, this first option that just says FTP right here will allow you to FTP into your USB stick from computers that are connected directly to your router. So anything that's connected to your wireless network or anything that is plugged in to your router will be able to access your FTP uh, server from by using this IP um, you just go ahead and well I can open it by uh, clicking the middle mouse button on my the middle button on my mouse I can go ahead and click it and it opens up up here and you'll see 
it can, I can open up in my browser and I'll and I'm able to browse all the files up here and now that uses the IP address so you're, it's telling you right here it's using the FTP protocol and it's this is the FTP server which is the IP address of your router or the default gateway of your computer which will match if you do go to command prompt and type in IP config you'll see that the IP here matches the IP address of your default gateway right here so that's the IP address of your router and the colon 21 means that it's accessing your router on port 21 by default um, all web traffic is on port 80 so if you were to type in um, for example if you were to type in this without the colon 21 that means it's trying to access uh, via FTP that router on port 80 because port 80 is just the default port if you ever type in anything like if you type in uh, I don't know, just any address um, by default it uses port 80 so we don't want to use port 80 see if I just did this if I just went there well it's gonna work because it's it's smart so it knows what it needs to do but usually it shouldn't work like that so you have to tell it that you want it to use port 21 by doing that obviously you can tell it works you know what actually this might be chrome just removing from removing it from there uh, it might just be how chrome is working it just doesn't show it on there to be user friendly so that's how you access the FTP from your computers on your network is with this one right here if you want to access your FTP server from a computer that's not on your network like if you want to access it from work or from the library or from school or whatever then you're going to use this IP address which it, autom it automatically puts it in here because this is the IP address that's assigned to your router from your ISP so you can enable that by clicking this button to enable it this is the remote FTP um, address right here also on port 21 and you can change this to whatever port you want so if you were to change this to let's just say you can the ports you have to choose from are between one and like I believe the highest number you can use that's possible I believe is 65,535 I could be wrong um, last if I'm just going off memory here I believe that's the highest number you can use um, but 21 port 21 is the default port for FTP that all computers use by default so if you wanted to access your FTP server that basically your USB drive that's on your router from any other computer you would just have to write down this IP address and everything FTP colon slash slash then all these numbers colon 21 you would have to write all that down go to your either FTP client or to your browser and you can type it in let's see if this will work from within the network I don't think it'll work it might work yeah it looks like it's not gonna work because this is I'm on my network so I would have to do this from a different computer like from somewhere else that's not on my network for this IP address to work now you don't I wouldn't recommend doing this because if you can access this from another computer that means anyone in the world can access this from another computer if you were to send me your IP address for your FTP server I would be able to go in there and modify your files and you don't want people doing that so yes the feature is here but you know it's just not a, really a good thing it's not really a smart thing to just have an FTP server running on your, on your router like this it's just I wouldn't recommend it now the next option you have here is sharing mode so you can sh either share all which is the default option or you can go over here and click sharing folders now basically what this is is instead of just sharing every single file um, on your USB stick for example I'll just show you up here you see when I go up here when I open this share it just opens the the root directory of the whole USB uh, drive and it lets me access everything 
Now, if you just want to create one folder and only have, like if, if I go into that um, FTP server and I only want one folder to be accessed and I want everything in there to be accessed via the FTP server, this is how you do it. You would select sharing folders and then you can hit save. And then it's going to save and it's going to refresh the page. And now once you select sharing folders, you go down here and you can uh, create a folder to share. So I would go ahead and click create share folder and you can name it whatever you want, folder one. And there's uh, different options in here. Um, enable media sharing, enable write access, enable authentication, allow guest network access. Um, let's see. So this folder would be created inside uh, volume one. This is, this is how that would work. And you hit save. I'm just gonna choose all the default options to hit save. Now, if I go to this, I can just refresh the page. Now, all I have access to is folder one. So that's how you use the FTP thingy on the TP-Link Archer C7 router. Now, I kind of like this format. Um, if you guys have any other questions, other things you'd like to know, um, go ahead and to the, go down to the comment section and ask any other questions you have. Um, I can't promise that I can make a video on every single question, but I'll try to pick up some good ones and I'll try to uh, make some more videos if you guys have more questions. Um, go ahead and leave some questions and I appreciate you watching the video. Um, hope to see you again.